This right here is a Bitcoin miner. In fact, it is Brains Mining BMM 100, and I'm one of the first people to get my hands on one of these bad boys. I went to the conference, the Bitcoin conference out in Prague, Czech Republic, where they announced and unveiled the Brains Miner BMM 100. So I'm happy to get my hands on one of these. Uh, we're gonna rewind it back and unbox this bad boy, plug it in and get to Bitcoin mining. This is a solo miner and we'll get into the details, but you can solo mine or you can also mine to a pool such as Brains or any pool for that matter. But for all intents and purposes, it makes more sense to solo mine with this in my opinion because it's such low hash power, low energy usage. It's a really cool home miner that will live right here on my desk. And if it finds a block, of course the miner would get the block subsidy plus the fees minus any pool fees. So let's jump straight into it. We're All right, so first things first, here is the packaging. This would be the front view of the machine and I thought the packaging was pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Stratum V2 ready, we'll get into the benefits of Stratum V2, but this hardware is cool how it comes V2 ready straight out of the box. What you get is kind of like a cool clock as well. You get block height, you get Bitcoin price tracking right there on a tabletop miner or a desktop miner and it's plug and play. I'm looking forward to busting this out of the box and getting straight to it, but um, it looks very on brand for brains. And I personally, with my other Bitcoin miners, I mine with brains, so uh, I'm all about it. Let's bust it open. Bada bing, bada boom. What you see is what you get. Uh, the hardware, uh, has a little fan, of course, to exhaust any minimal heat that this thing puts out. It's got four ASIC chips and it runs just over a terahash and 40 watts. Comes with a little PSU. And at the conference in Prague, they were giving out C13 cords for, uh, <clears throat> which is a standard uh, cord that you'd use for um, a S19 or a Bitmain product. They typically take two C13s, but this just takes one. And they were giving out European and American cords, but I had to custom order one of these and it was only like five bucks, no big deal. And standard C13 connection. Not gonna put out a huge amount of amperage uh, for this tiny ASIC. But let's see how she goes when we fire this up here, when we fire this little machine, this little piece of hardware. All right, so let's plug her in and see how she runs. The fan fired up. No internet connection yet, so let's go ahead and fix that problem. That's satisfying. And you can hear it very quietly. I assume I'm supposed to go ahead and hit this IP to get it set up. So after having checked the manual were to use the username root. And we are in. This is a pretty cool user face. I have not seen this UX before. Uh, looks very similar to Brains Pool when you're actually mining on Brains Pool, which we will be in a moment here. And very cool. So they are coming up with um, monitoring software 
which allows you to monitor your hardware, whether it's one machine or a thousand machines at a industrial scale mining operation. And as of now, not hashing yet, we have a temperature read, probably not hashing just simply because I have not connected my pool yet. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna be mining with CK pool or in other words, solo mining, because again, hash rate is so small. And although it's extremely unlikely that this machine finds a block, I am feeling lucky. And I figure instead of collecting a few cents worth of Bitcoin every day, I'd rather go ahead and roll the dice and uh, keep the whole block reward if this thing hits a block. So I'm navigating over to solockpool.org, solo.ckpool.org, and it will provide me the stratum and we can go ahead and add this pool fairly straightforward. And so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste the CK pool stratum. Punch in a username. All right, so that's saved and we should start to see this thing hashing momentarily. Boom, and I am starting to see the first hash rate hit the pool, which is really just a solo pool, and which is to say that the rewards are not shared. I would keep all the rewards if this thing found a block minus the CK pool fee, which is about 2% last time I checked. This miner is deploying hash to the network. So right now already over, that's a quick fire up folks, already over one tera hash right away. I'm impressed. And I did see this at the conference in Prague, I did see this thing hit uh, about 1.3 tera hash, which is 1.3 trillion guesses per second to guess that correct nonce to secure a block and confirm a block onto the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, as we can see here, bitfeed.live, this is real-time mempool, and if uh, a miner guesses that correct block, then the miner gets that block subsidy of 3.125 Bitcoin plus the fees, which currently sit at about 10% on top of the block subsidy. So that would be a very lucky and good day indeed. Let's talk about my chances Let's go to solo chance and look at what are the statistics of actually mining a block given this much hash power. Mind you, this is hashing at about one terahash and only using about 40 watts to get there. So if I'm hashing at one terahash, statistically speaking, I have a one in about 253 million chance of hitting that next block at current difficulty. That gives me about one in 1.76 million chance per day, and it would take me about 4,830 years to hit a block at current difficulty. So I would have to be extremely lucky for this machine to actually find a block. What are you gonna do? So overall, I'm, ex I'm really impressed at how this machine comes straight out of the box and starts hashing. I'm impressed with brains. I'm intrigued by their hardware division, how they're coming out with some pretty impressive hardware. This thing does have their control board installed in it. It is running Brains OS. And again, it is running Brains V2 Stratum straight out of the box. Brains V2 allows mining to be more secure with encryption from the hardware to the pool. And it allows data to be sent and received more efficiently. Very interesting concept that the Brains team has come up with. Shout out and salute to them. Uh, it was great meeting some of the Brains team at the conference. I got the handy dandy Bitcoin mining glossary and a couple books that I've been meaning to read for some time. 
uh, Bitcoin Mining Economics and the Bitcoin Mining Handbook. I'll be making separate videos reviewing those. Let me know in the comments if you think that it makes sense to solo mine on a desktop machine like this, or does it make sense to solo mine if you're running a much larger hash power? So I think it's cool because it's a fun tchotchke to have on your desk. Uh, it tells you the time, tells you the block height, Bitcoin price, etc., And it is in fact securing the network and there is a chance of hitting that block and having a very good day and collecting that block reward, currently 3.125 Bitcoin plus the fees. And so that as of today, as of the making of this video is worth about $225,000 worth of Bitcoin. So let's roll. If you're into this content, please do sub the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you're into Bitcoin mining content and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.